Hey, what's up guys? EY Stream back here with another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you five secret things that you didn't know you can build in your very own Minecraft world with no mods or add-ons. What does that mean? It means that you're going to be able to get these on pretty much any version of Minecraft. iPad, iPhone, Android, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, or PC. It ain't matter. You're going to be able to get these incredible builds in your very own world. And trust me, you're going to want these builds, including a working easel that'll hold your paintings, a working basketball hoop, a grill, some modern shelving that will really make your friends think, wow, he is a professional builder. And my personal favorite, this adorable outdoor swing for your pets, including wolf and foxes, guys. But yes, we've got quite a lineup for you today. So if you're excited to leave a like down below, actually, let's make a deal, guys. If you learn at least one thing new in today's video, you leave a like down below and subscribe. But if you learn nothing new, you can leave a dislike, all right? We picked a promise on this, okay? We're going for 10,000 likes. And of course, as always, guys, if you are on your channel, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to ling ding ding so you get the coolest builds before any of your friends do. But I think I've done enough talking. Let's get straight into these epic bits. <laughs> For our first build, our working easel that can hold a blank canvas or a painting for you, you're going to need two oak fences, one oak fence gate, a white banner, two armor stands, a piston, and some sort of redstone activation device. Block of redstone is generally the easiest. All right, let's get into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do, guys, is come up to where you want to have your easel that's holding your painting, and you want to place down just a single oak fence. Then directly behind it, you're going to place another one, and above it, you're going to place an oak fence gate. Now, it looks very strange at the moment, but hang with me here, guys. Then we're going to go ahead and place a white banner on the oak fence gate. To do this, crouch, then click the oak fence gate like so. Again, looks very strange. Hang with me. Then we're going to go ahead and open our fence gate, but not like this. You want to go ahead and jump behind it and open it like this. So it kind of looks like the banner is hanging on the oak fence gate. Doesn't look 100% legit yet. But that is where our armor stands come in. So what you're going to do, guys, is on the front fence here, you're going to place one armor stand on the left and one on the right. Then you're going to head and click on him by crouching, and he will turn into this second position where he's, like, straight-armed like this. Then you want to go ahead, crouch, and do the exact same thing to the other side. Once that's done, grab your piston here, guys. Place one behind this guy. Place one behind this guy. Activate and activate and that will push our armor stands in except at the moment it just looks very very strange However, it's gonna all come together in just a second So what we're gonna do is destroy this center oak fence like so bang be very careful with that guys So you don't destroy one of the armor stands. I have done that a lot of times <laughs> Then we're gonna grab our piston here and you want to place this you want to come like behind the fence here and you want to place the piston. This can be a little bit tricky, but you want to place it facing towards your armor stands. Please, please. Oh, there we go. No. Okay, come on. I've got this guy. I believe it. Okay, you might need to place a block just out the front here so you can place your piston coming off it. All right. And there we go. Okay. Now we've got our piston facing towards our armor stands and all of this jazz. We can go ahead and activate our piston here. And voila, guys. We're done. <laughs> How cool does this look? It actually looks like an easel. You've got, obviously, the two armor stand arms on either side here. And it looks like the easel is holding up this uh, blank canvas banner here. Now, I did mention that you can hang up any painting. And that's because, well, banners can have any design you want on them. Obviously, this looks very nice as, like, a blank canvas, which would look great in a modern build or in an art room, obviously. However, you can actually go ahead and destroy this banner and switch it out for a different banner, like this. Voila! Check it out, guys! We've got a brand new painting on our easel. This is actually my fox banner design. If you guys want to know how to get a bunch of epic banner designs for this easel, I actually did a video recently, Top 10 Banner Designs in Minecraft. You guys can check that out on my channel. Just search, I don't know, Top 10 Banners EY Stream, and you'll be able to get the coolest banner designs for your easel. But that is build number one, guys. Time to move on to build number two. Guys, get excited because the brand new EY merch is here. We've got t-shirts, hoodies, water bottles, pencil cases, stickers, and more. Even if the can't stop wearing it. Plus, it's all on sale until Christmas. So maybe ask your parents to buy you some as a gift. If you guys want to be a YouTuber just like me, make sure to hit the link in the description now and get some merch before we sell out and you miss out.
You ready to shoot some hoops? Ah, that sounded really cringy, guys. What am I, from the 90s? <laughs> anyway, build number two is our working basketball hoop. Now, you're probably going to want this on a basketball court. So for that, you're just going to want a bunch of orange terracotta and a bunch of white concrete powder. But for the hoop itself, you're going to need one dire wall, one birch fence, one hopper, one red stained glass, five white stained glass, four birch trap doors, a cobweb, and three birch sides. Now, as you guys can see, I've kind of already made a half court here with our orange terracotta. Now, this is about as big as it needs to be, but you could build a full basketball court if you wanted. But if you're just building this half block here, you're going to need a one, two, three, four, five. So five long here. That's got to come out one, and it's one, two, three, four, five on here. So it's five, five across the scene, and then just fill in the center like that, guys. Then what we're going to do is we're going to first off break out this back section here and switch it out for white concrete powder. Then we're going to go one block, two block, and come out one, two, three. And we're going to fill that in with white concrete powder. Then we're going to go diagonally here and go one, two, three. Fill in with white concrete powder. And then diagonally again, guys, one, two, three, and fill that with white concrete powder. And as you guys can see, this looks like the back half of a basketball court. Of course, you can make this a full-size thing if you want. Then you're going to grab your die rope wall here, guys, and place it one block in front of our white concrete powder centered in the D here. Then grab your birch fence, place that on top. Grab your hopper, place that on top. Then place your red stained glass directly on top of our hopper and surround it with your white stained glass like so. I'm sure you guys can already see this thing come together. Now we're going to place a birch trap door on the bottom half of both sides here on the white stained glass. Do the same thing on the other side. One, two. Then go ahead, activate all sides of the birch trap doors. It kind of gives your, uh, your backboard, I think it's called, a nice kind of border. I really think it looks good. Then we're going to place a cobweb in front of our red stained glass and surround it with three birch signs. And voila! Wasn't that easy, guys? Check it out. Your very own basketball hoop in Minecraft. Now, personally, I actually like to make this one block higher by using two birch fences instead of one. But the reason why we've made it one block lower is because if it's two blocks high, uh, you can't reach it. It's a little bit too high to actually play basketball. However, if you imagine this orange terracotta block is your basketball, at this height, you can actually go ahead and jump and hook. I score! Woo! <laughs> Woo yeah, as you guys can see, it actually works. You can go ahead and just chuck your block straight in there. It'll fall inside the net slash cobweb, and then eventually the block will fall through just like a real basketball. Pretty epic if you ask me. Let's move on to build number three. Now, some would say that I am a food expert. And others would say I suck at cooking and I have literally burnt every dish I have ever made. But that's only some people, including me, I say that. <laughs> and next build, guys, build number three is our grill. Now, for this, you're going to need two campfires, two looms, two iron bars, four atom frames, two iron trapdoors, a spruce buttered, two birds trapdoors, and then, you know, just some different food. I'm using cooked beef and a carrot. Now, this grill can go outside or inside, but I think it looks better outside. So the first thing we're going to do, guys, is choose where you want your grill. We're going to place ours here, and then you just want to break the ground. <laughs> then we're going to switch out the ground for our campfires. At the moment, yes, it just looks like I've made a campfire pit, but I promise you it is more than that. Then we're going to grab our looms here, guys, and we're going to place one, two looms just like so. Now, why are we lo using looms? Well, if you actually look here, guys, the top of the loom, if you just kind of ignore everything else, um, it kind of looks like a grill. Like, look at this thing, guys. Can you imagine this is what a grill looks like? Like, with the iron bars and the coal underneath? Just, at the moment alone, it doesn't look like a grill. So, let's add a few more details. What we're going to do is grab our iron bars and place on one on the left, one on the right. Then we want our item frames here, guys. You're going to crouch, place one, two item frames on the front of our looms here. Then on our left are uh, iron... What are they called? Iron... Ah, yes! Iron bars! That's what they're called. Why did I forget that? I've been playing Minecraft for eight years. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and you're going to place an iron frame uh, on top of our iron bars facing upright and do the same thing on the right-hand side. Then grab your iron trapdoors. We're going to place one, two, like so. Then you're going to rotate it. One, two, one, two. And as you guys can see, these look like mini door handles that you would actually open up to open the inside of the grill where you... If you guys have used a grill before, you know that's where they keep, like, the gas cylinders. So it looks legit. This is exactly what a real-life grill looks like. But a real-life grill also has, like, a lid on the top. So to get that, guys, on our back here, we're going to place one, two birch trapdoors and activate both of those. And voila, you got yourself a grill with 
legit smoke coming out of it as if it's cooking something. But we need it to actually cook something. So we're going to chuck our spruce button here on our uh, on our loom uh, like so. So you go ahead and crouch. Place the button on your loom here, guys. And it looks like a bit of meat that's just, you know, roasted on the side of your grill. In, in Australia, we love our barbecues. Yeah, we wouldn't call this a grill in Australia. We call this a barbecue. Um, sorry, my Australian is coming through. So, guys, we're going to place, like, a spruce button there, you know, just to look like a piece of meat. And it also means that not as much smoke comes through so it doesn't look like you're trying to light the place on fire. Then we're going to grab our cooked beef, place it on this side, and place our carrot on this side and just turn them around so they're facing forward. Bang, 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 and voila. You got yourself a beautiful outdoor or indoor barbecue slash grill. Very nice. All right, our next build is my personal favorite, and that is our pet swing. Now, our next build is our adorable pet swing for your pet wolf or fox or chicken or cow or sheep or pig or llama. Look, I don't discriminate against pets, guys, but if you don't have a pet wolf in Minecraft, you are missing out. <laughs> anyway, you're going to need 16 spruce fences. You're going to need six spruce stairs, nine spruce slabs, one iron bar, uh, one polished andesite slab, eight spruce trap doors, two rails, and just some random block that you can use as scaffolding. Dirt works fine, but, you know, whatever you have on your stock. All right, guys. Now, choosing where to place this swing is totally up to you. It, it, normally, you would actually build this on ground. However, I found it looks really nice if it's in the middle of some water. Like, you could have, like, an ornamental lake outside your house. However, you can build this on land, guys, all right? So, don't stress too much. It doesn't have to be in water. All right. Now, the first thing you got to do, guys, is pick a corner where you want your swing. And we're going to place one fence here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Now, if it's on land, you only need to place three, guys. The fourth one is only if you're building it in water. Then you're going to leave one block space and do the exact same thing. One, two, three, four. Then going horizontally, you want to leave one, two, three spaces. And on the fourth block here, we're going to place another uh, fence. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Leave a space gap and go one, two, three, four. All right, so these are the sides of our swing. Then we're going to grab our spruce wood stairs here, guys. And you want to place one, two, three, like so. And do the same thing on the other side. One, two. Two, oh, one, two, three. Then you're gonna grab your spruce wood uh, slab here, guys, and you wanna place one, two, like this. I'm gonna destroy out this slab here. Then you just wanna go ahead and fill in the entire top of this area with your spruce wood slabs, making a very cute ornamental roof. Then, right in the center here, guys, you're gonna place one iron bar and a polished andesite slab underneath it. Now, this is where the build gets a little bit trickier. We're going to use our random scaffolding block here, guys. And from ground level, you want to place one block up. Then grab your spruce trap doors, and we're going to place one, two, like so, on the top half of this block. You can destroy these two blocks in the center here and place another spruce trap door in the center. Then what we're going to do, guys, is this is just a little bit finicky, but you're going to need to crouch and place a spruce trap door on top of each of our existing spruce trap doors. Then on the second spruce trap door, the one we just placed, you're going to place spruce trap doors coming out. So make sure you keep this bottom layer not connected to anything. So we're going to go one, two, and three. Then you want to go ahead and activate all those spruce trap doors, and you want to come around to the front. And actually, we're going to leave them there for just a second longer. We're actually going to jump onto the uh, both sides here, and on the top spruce trap door, you're going to crouch, place a spruce trap door, activate it, and do the exact same thing on the left-hand side. So crouch, place your trap door, and activate it. Then you can go ahead and destroy out these uh, spruce trap doors that we placed on the top half, and that's going to make this really nice full-bodied seat for your different pets, whether that be sheep, cow, chicken, llama, wolf, doesn't matter. Now, we need to actually connect this seat to this thing here because at the moment it's just kind of floating. Now, this looks amazing if you can do it with rails. So we're just going to place our random scaffolding block here. And for now, we're going to destroy our iron bars. Then you're going to place your rails coming across here. And you guys can already imagine, you know, the rails connect to the side of the seat and it connects to the roof. It looks great and everything because what you can do is destroy this rail here and place your iron bars and voila, we're done. Except there's kind of dirt here. Now, this is where you're going to need a very special kind of block. Now, this block you can't get in survival, I am sorry, but this is five building hacks. So, and because this looks so good, I just had to show it to you guys. You're going to need to go ahead and type into your chat slash give space at P space barrier. And that's it. Just like that, guys, hit enter. And that's going to give you this fancy looking barrier block. And what we're going to do is instead of using the dirt here, guys, we're going to place our barrier blocks. So crouch like so. 
place one on the left here, one on the right here. Then what you're going to do is grab your rails here. They will disappear, but trust me, they're still there, guys. We're going to destroy that iron bar again. Place your rails coming across here. And as you guys can see, the uh, the barrier block actually allows you to place the rails on what seemingly is nothing. We're going to connect these up. Destroy the center block here. Place your iron bars. And voila, you have yourself a super adorable pet swing, which has the perfect room for you to place your pet. If we grab ourselves a wolf here, guys, and a bone. Let's go ahead and grab that. Chuck your wolf on the center here. Let's go ahead and tame him. How could you not say that is not adorable, guys? Oh, it's so cute. You got yourself a beautiful pet swing. And because it's actually under this uh, polished andesite slab here, if we go ahead and just get our dog to follow us. Come over here, mister. You come. Yep, there we go. You stay there. The fox will actually go ahead and sleep underneath it, which is also really, really adorable. So if we go ahead and spawn a fox here and give it just a few seconds. There we go. Oh, look at that, guys. He fell asleep on the swing. How adorable is that? Anyway, guys, we have one more build for today's video, so make sure to stick around because it is pretty epic. Now, our fifth and final build for today is, you know, it's not the craziest, most original build, but because it is so sophisticated, it'll really make your friends think that you are a professional Minecraft builder. So for this, you're going to need nine smooth quartz slabs or just regular quartz slabs. It's up to you and your preference there, guys. They almost look identical anyways. You're going to need two smooth quartz stairs or two regular quartz stairs, seven bookshelves, two looms, a barrel, birch trap door, two birch signs, a flower pot, and an acacia sapling. Now, the first thing we're going to do here, guys, is grab our bookshelves, and we're going to place one, two, three. Then we're going to place one, two on either side, and in the center here, we're going to place a loom, but not like this. What you need to do, guys, is have this loom facing backwards. So if you go ahead and place it like that, you guys can see you get this backside of the loom, which kind of looks like empty shelving, which is why this build is so sophisticated. Then you're going to place two more bookshelves, and right here, guys, in this top left-hand corner, we're going to place another backwards-facing loom. Then you're going to grab your beautiful, smooth, or regular quartz slabs. And we're going to place one, two, three across the bottom here, guys. Then you're going to go one, two, and use your smooth quartz stairs here and place them uh, facing upwards like this. So you guys can see it kind of makes this L shape. Then we're going to grab our smooth quartz slabs and you want to go one, two, like so. But on the right-hand corner here, guys, you're going to go ahead and place another, uh, if I can do it, there we go, another stair, this time facing the opposite direction. Then you're going to grab your quartz slabs, guys, and you can place one, two, again, like this. And right in this corner here, guys, you're going to place a barrel facing forward. Then we're going to place a birch trapdoor on the front of this barrel, so crouch. Place your birch trapdoor here and close it like so. I would prefer it to close like that. There we go. That looks very nice. Then grab your birch signs. Go one, two, like so. And then on top of our barrel here, guys, we're going to place one flower pot and one acacia sapling inside the flower pot here, guys. And then you can kind of fill in the top of your bookshelf with whatever your wall is made out of. It's kind of up to you how you want to do this. I think that kind of looks pretty nice. And we're done. You've got yourself a set of modern shelving. This thing looks very clean, very nice, very high class. Like, look at this, guys. You've got empty shelves. You've got books. This just design looks epic. And it even has actual storage built in. Built in. You don't even need to open this trapdoor. You can actually open the barrel from underneath like so. If you really want to go extra further and you want to kind of cover up the books here. Now, in an ideal world, what you guys would actually do is bring the wall out one block. So the books are like built into the side of the wall like that, guys. So you guys can see what I'm trying to do, I think. Uh, like that. And that way the books are flush with the wall. But it kind of depends with what you want to do and how thick you want your walls to be. But... Yeah, really, really sophisticated build, and I think it looks epic. Oh, I wish I could afford EY Stream merch! Didn't you hear? All the merch is on sale until Christmas! I don't even have enough money to buy arms! I still can't afford it! Then just ask your parents to get you some for Christmas. Also, you might want to see a doctor about those arms. And what if my parents don't want to buy a beautiful EY Stream shirt or hoodie because I already have clothes? Then ask for a water bottle or pencil case to use at school. And there are even stickers and wristbands for super cheap. Wow, those look epic. Where can I buy them? Just click the link in the description below. And be quick, go ask your parents now before we sell out and you miss out. But anyway guys, 
that brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, remember our deal? Do you remember our deal, Mr. Wolf? No, he wouldn't have remembered because he wasn't here when I made this deal. But the deal was, guys, if you learned something new, leave a like down below. Subscribe, hit that bell icon. I'll see you in the next one. And until then, guys, EY Stream and my new friend, Mr. Wolf, out.